Hello. In this session, we'll be talking about the API community of practice. We will address roles, processes, and results that you should be considering when you're supporting and helping to grow your API program. So what exactly is a community of practice? Communities of practice are groups of people within an organization who share a common concern or passion for something that they do regularly and work together to learn how to do it better. They then share these learnings within the larger organization to drive improvement. If we break that down, a community of practice is a group of like-minded individuals within your organization that will help create assets and processes to share knowledge throughout the organization. This is a great way to build content and to help promote your API program. Community of practice also helps with personal development. Those individuals in the group will grow in areas like leadership, coaching, collaboration, and gain critical exposure with other teams within the organization. Through this collaboration, everyone participating becomes more familiar with the topic of the group. Finally, a community of practice also provides opportunities for individuals to become known as subject matter experts. As an expert, the organization may regularly reach out to these individuals to ask them for assistance and feedback on digital strategies, organizational challenges, or process improvements. But a community of practice can also be a way to share knowledge and grow your API program. It can be a group that is set up to and help enable and train new technologies or digital platforms such as Apigee and the Google Cloud Platform. Communities of practice may also be formed to help improve internal processes around topics like governance, security, documentation of APIs, and more. Ultimately, the community of practice can be about anything that benefits your customers. When we begin to look at a community of practice, let's discuss a little around who should be in that group. The key role is the lead, who typically is the individual who recommends and starts the community of practice. The lead is responsible for shaping and defining the vision, roadmap, and assets for the topic that is the subject matter for the community. The lead will also help collect and curate contributions from the team to help promote the community to receive the needed support related to potential outcomes or results within the organization. The rest of the community is filled with volunteer contributors who come together to discuss the topic. These individuals create assets and materials beneficial for the wider organization. By coming together, the individuals in the community of practice discuss, share, and learn information with the sole intent of helping their business and improving the relationship with their customers. Now let's take a look at a typical structure for a community of practice. As with everything else, we start with an outside-in perspective. We ask questions like, what do the, our consumers need? How might a community of practice benefit our API program? Individuals in the organization should be empowered to ask these type of questions and initiate the construction of a community of practice. Their leaders will be responsible for curating all the information from the community and centralizing it in a single location. This is the case both for individual community teams and centralized knowledge-based teams where all communities share assets. From there, the leader recruits subject matter experts or volunteers to help create new content, perform research, and grow overall knowledge of the organization. As the community expands, new communities may form. For example, you may have a community of practice specifically within the topic of security or governance. Within each of those communities, small groups are researching and compiling new information to share with the wider organization. That information can be in the form of a wide variety of assets, tools, or processes. The community of practice produces and shares this information, known as knowledge assets, to help consumers in various subjects and to help with the organization digitally mature within their API program. Now here are several examples of outputs that a community of practice may produce. These range from large research projects like white papers to small tools like executable demos that can be shared with consumers. Although this list has several options, keep in mind that the goal of the community of practice is to produce assets that will help the business digitally evolve and also be beneficial for the organization's API consumers. Your initial API product team becomes the experts in deployments of the API platform. This team forms the basis of your API competency center to leverage the experience and skills that the team has acquired. Now, instead of experimenting and with transformation, the team can now demonstrate transformation to other teams. 
As the team grows, they will naturally form a community of practice around the business of APIs. As the centralized team moves to a federated model, the community of practice can empower other business units to onboard and participate in the API program. The community of practice can then oversee the operation and governance, while the business units are able to own the APIs and the tools that are required for the team to operate. As an organization begins their transformation journey, they often must demonstrate the power of the API program to the organization. Small API product teams can begin introducing new concepts into the organization, but they will often see resistance to change. These teams can still be highly focused on delivering and demonstrating value up to the API program. As a product team shifts into a community of practice, the teams can reach the wider organization and empower other teams to transform. The community can continuously remind the organization of the vision, principle, and best practices to create digital success. We hope this supplied you with a working structure to implement a community practice within your organization. Thank you.